For the majority of Realm of the Mad God's life, every class has only had one type of weapon available. For example, melees have had swords, and only swords. But in August of 2022, every weapon in the game got an alternative, and in the case of melees, their shiny new toy was the flail. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, because this is the complete sword versus flail item comparison guide. If you've played Realm for any amount of time, you don't need an introduction to the sword. In exchange for a short 3.5 tile range, the sword provides incredible DPS without a catch. Hit your shots, and you're doing great damage to a single enemy. The flail, on the other hand, is a much more complex item. Instead of a constant stream of strong shots, the flail shoots significantly slower, but super powerful boomeranging shots. On top of this, the flail has an additional two smaller shots that can provide extra damage but have a much shorter range. But if these were the only two differences, the flail would really just feel like a slower shooting sword. So where's the big catch? Well, the flail shots are able to pass through enemies. When it comes to doing damage to just a single target, the sword typically outclasses the flail because you don't have to worry about landing all three shots to maximize its damage. But as soon as there are multiple enemies in play, the flail instantly becomes the better option. One shot from a flail has the ability to clean out an entire horde of smaller enemies, and if you're in a situation where hitting multiple targets could be useful, the flail is an incredible option. Crusaders chasing you? Flail can hit multiple at a time for huge damage. Rushing a dungeon? The flail is incredible at cleaning out any enemies that might be following you. The more time I spent with the flail, the more it felt like it was a viable alternative to the sword, especially when doing a boss like the Crystal Worm Mother. The ability to just shoot through the body segments made the flail a no-brainer and the better option in the dungeon overall. But whenever it was time to do damage to an individual target, I would simply swap over to the sword and maximize my DPS. Speaking of DPS, let's compare how the two items perform so you know when you should use which one. If you're able to push in all the way with the flail, colored red on the graph, and hit all three shots, it actually does more damage than the sword for all enemies above 15 defense. However, staying pushed in for the flail's true range of 1.88 tiles is nearly impossible in most situations. And these are what the graphs look like if you're only hitting one or zero of the chain shots. So if you're basically able to sit on the boss, then the flail can be better, but this is limited to only very niche scenarios with high defense enemies. The last thing to go over is honestly kind of personal preference, but it is the feel of the item. And I've got to say, I went into this expecting not to like the flail. However, I was pleasantly surprised. It was a very refreshing alternative to the sword, and I found myself using it in a ton of situations. But that being said, it does feel quite sluggish, and hitting shots feels much less reliable than the sword. The sword is tried and true. In my opinion, it is more fun and consistent for standard gameplay. So in conclusion, if you had to only pick one, you can't go wrong with the classic sword, and I think it's better in more situations. But the flail excels at what it was made to do, and is a really good option when used correctly. Unlike some of the alternative weapons we'll cover later, the game on a melee is best enjoyed having both the sword and flail as complementary swap outs. If you haven't given the flail a try, I highly recommend it, even if it isn't always as good as the sword. That's it for this video, I'm only 700 subscribers away from 5,000, and I'd really like to hit that goal by the end of the year, so if you want to go down, leave a like and subscribe, it would really really mean a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace.